What's up everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. Got Kaya, Caleb, Rachel, and Kevin. And uh, we have a serious problem, so we recruited the whole family to take care of this issue. You might hear something behind me. I'm gonna talk about it here in just a second. But first, I'm gonna show you the problem. Yeah, the quack pack is in jail. They are fixing to be relocated. So uh, a little bit earlier, Rachel and I was out here filming a video for Untamed Outdoors, our other YouTube channel, and uh, tell them what happened. We were filming and I look over and we have a little banny chicken that has hatched out three chicks and she was out here in the yard and all of a sudden all five ducks go after the chicks and the mama of course starts trying to <laughs> starts trying to attack the ducks because they're attacking her chicks well all the ducks jump on the hen and I had to run over and save the hen and the three chicks from the ducks. Yeah, so Rachel, I was on the phone with Dutch. I was talking to him. We were trying to get ready to shoot this video. And Rachel said, Kevin, Kevin, I look over and the ducks, like two ducks, had the mama hen by the back of her neck yep. just ripping feathers out. So I'm not going to put up with that. The kids are supposed to show two of these ducks in the Mays County Fair. And this isn't the first time that these ducks have been aggressive. They've been kind of starting to chase the cats which Smee is kind of a, uh, I don't know, what do you call him? He likes to kind of irritate Skeeter. Well, he's a kitten. He, does he likes kinda, to play. He, he sneaks up on the ducks, but then they kind of turn around and start trying to attack him. He is practicing his stalking yes. skills. But anyways, we're not going to put up with any of these ducks starting to be aggressive towards any of the chickens. And uh, we got these little baby chicks running around with the mom right now. Uh, we'll try to get some video footage of them here in just a little bit if I can find her. She's a free range mom, so she kind of takes them all over our property. But she was just doing her own thing, minding her own business. And I got some video footage right here I'm gonna throw up real quick to show you guys. So this is why the ducks are fixing to get moved to the pond is because that hen right there, I don't know if you can see her right there, she's got three baby chicks. And she just now brought her chicks into the yard and the ducks will not leave her alone. They done tried to attack the little chicks. The mama got after them and they tried to peck her. And two or three of them jumped on the, the mama. So, we cannot have that, so I think it's time to move them to the pond. What do you think? Yep. They're not gonna quit. Nope. See, they're going. They're yeah. going back again. I keep trying to kill so them. I'm gonna sit here and watch them, and I'll show you guys what they're doing, because we are not gonna have that. So I know we we said that we were gonna wait till after the kids got done showing them. Um, I don't want them to do it because the rob will kill them. No, I don't, I don't want them to do it either, but, um, so we're going to put them out to the pond. Yeah, we're going to round them up here in just a little bit. And... So we didn't actually catch the attack on footage, but it was right before I just showed you that video. And, uh, if Rachel and I would not have been standing out there that whole time, they would have, they was kind of just keeping an eyeball on that mama hen and uh, hoping that Rachel and I walked away because they were wanting to get those baby chicks big time. Yeah, and they kept hovering right around where she was at, waiting for us to walk away. Luckily, that's one of our most aggressive and our best uh, mama, our band of mamas. Yes. Uh, she always hatches a couple of uh, clutches of eggs out just about every year. This one was unexpected. We don't even know where her nest was, but she has three little babies on the ground. But first things first, let's get these ducks Round it up, we're gonna stick them in this cage we got back here, throw them in the ranger. We're gonna take them over to the pond and do a release over there. Um, they don't have a house over there, so what we're gonna do is, once we get them over there, we'll come back, get the ranger, and then uh, we're gonna pull this chicken tractor over there. If you guys have been following us ever since we got these baby ducks back in like April or May, this is what they grew up in. They lived in this uh, chicken tractor for a while. So we're gonna take them over there and uh, actually Put the ducks on water. You guys think it'll work? Yeah. Yep. You think they'll like it better over there? Yeah, and there's a lot of 
like water over there that can oh i think they'll love it there's water there's all kinds of grass that ducks like to eat and the kids had said a while back they were not real crazy about showing the ducks necessarily they wanted them to be on the pond like we had talked about earlier um because that's where they belong anyway uh so that's i mean that's going to be their happiest life is on the pond right and uh just a little warning i might say we do not have a livestock guardian dog on that side of the pasture so they are going to be vulnerable to predators but we don't eat ducks and we don't just want to sell them or anything we want to just put them on the pond and see what happens so we don't know what's going to happen they might run off they might get eaten by a fox or a hawk we do not know so just a warning uh the next video we might just show you feathers we do we not know, know we know this so you know, just uh, so you know we're not doing it to be cruel or anything we're giving them a shot um like i said i don't like duck meat so i don't want to butcher them and i am done with them they're nothing but a mess having to clean up the uh, concrete porch. patio all the time, the porch. Yes. And uh, we don't want to pin them up, <clears throat> you know, in a little bitty pin. We want them to be out in the field on the pond. So let's get them rounded up, and then we'll haul them over there and then take their house over there and see if they like the pond. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right down. Sheriff Skeeter said he's had enough of this, so he's going to round these ducks up, and uh, he's locking them up. You right, Skeeter? You ready to do it? All right, let's get them. <laughs> All right, run it here. Kaya, you open and close this for me, okay? You ain't got to latch it every time. Just right, get just it to where, it. when I throw them in there. Right. Yep, you just hold your hand right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Caleb, you man this door. When I go in there, you shut the door. When I grab one, you open it for me. Okay. I don't want me in there either, okay? Yeah. Alright, here we go. These things are gonna scratch me up. Yep. Alright, Dick. Get ready. <laughs> We don't put up with bullying in there. Nope. Calm down. Not this bad. Boy, there are too much. Oh, there you made a mess. Don't worry, I got the cuffs on him, Charlie. Alright. That part's done. You ready, Caleb? I think we can set it up there. made a mess. You know, like, they go on pit punch. Alright, let's get him up in the ranger. Don't let your brother help me, it's heavy. Skeeters. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. We got him. Alright, ducks, you ready to go see water? They have never swam on a pond before. They haven't. So this is a whole new adventure for the ducks. This so like, is... like I said, ducks are super messy, so let's get them over there before they get duck crap all over the ranger. Okay, let's go. Caleb can sit over there and open the gate. He's really popping his head up there like, he's so funny. Look at him. Backpack. 
because no one can live out their best life on our pond. Yeah. Chewy duck stink. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Put him in the back of the bed. All right, ready? Yep. All right, crackers. Come on, boys. Oh my goodness. Look at there. I didn't see it. You think they like it? Yep. I think they love it. I don't like it. Now they can actually swim. They can eat all the grass and all that good stuff in the pond. Bugs. Frogs. That's what they were intended for. Yep. When we got them, this is where they were supposed to go. Yep, and they have a big old pond. Sure enough, I think they like it. Yep. They're a beautiful addition to our pond. Yep. If they'll stay here, there's no guarantees. Well, let's hope. We'll hope. We'll, we'll hope, hope for, for the best. best. Yeah. Jinx. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll watch them for a little bit, then we'll go get that uh, chicken tractor and move it over here, and then they'll know that their house is closed. <laughs> Yay! Hey, hey, hey. Hey, get back your mom is trying to swim. I don't know if it's a dog. Me. Me. What? Uh. chicken tractor but we had another fellow farm animal follow us out here. Yep. Who is it? It's me. He just couldn't stand it. Maybe he's Sheriff maybe he's uh, Sheriff Skeeter's deputy. Yeah. What do you think? Is he maybe. wearing a badge? Did Skeeter deputize him? Mm-hmm. Skeeter where are you at? Come on Skeet. So we're gonna get that chicken tractor drag it over here. Skeeter. Come on Skeeter let's go. Skeet. Come on. Come on buddy. Come on Skeet. 
Okay, so we just got done cleaning out the cage, cleaning out the back of the ranger, because as soon as they start crapping in this tray, then they think it's fun to play in it, and they just uh, shake it all over like it's fun. Right? Of course. So uh, we're going to get the tractor hooked up to the ranger. we got this little rope on the front. We should be able to put this around the hitch and hopefully pull it. Um, when we designed this, we designed it to be mobile. So it's got these wheels on it. It is pretty heavy. We can pull it if we need to be, but I think we'll hook it up and do it the easy way. What do you think? Get out of that. That's nasty. He's, there's like fresh water everywhere and you pick that. Dogs are weird. So I think everyone's happy that the bullies are out of the yard. What do you think? Randy? Were they picking on you too? They were picking on him a couple of times. Alright, let's get this thing hooked up. Hopefully the uh, angry mob will let us through. So far so good. The sheriff is still riding along with us in the front seat. Okay, so we got the chicken tractor door facing the actual pond. The duck palace. The duck palace. The duck's over there, trying to figure out how to get back to the house. And we caught a frog in here somehow. I guess it tried to jump up as we were pulling. Can you get it out of there? I don't know how it's got its head in that like that. My gosh. There, I saved it. Where'd it's it free! Don't let Kai see Don't, yeah, that's what I was fixing to say. Don't let Kai may see it. You're going the wrong way for the pond. Oh, we see a lot of bugs out here. Them ducks. Look at all these grasshoppers flying everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. There's hundreds of grasshoppers, and the ducks absolutely love chasing these bugs They're like already this. over there. I know. They're trying to figure out how to get back to the house. Come here, ducks. 
I think when they see this, they'll know it's home, though. Yeah, probably. We'll just have to let them be for a little bit and see if they'll come back over here. There's a bunch of them little grasshoppers climbing up on this thing. Yeah, oh, they're all over the place. Well, we got them over here to the pond, and they didn't stay, so I think we're going to leave them be for a little bit. We're going to check on Shadow, the big pregnant white uh, goat, as of yesterday, and this morning, she didn't have any babies yet, and she just, I'm telling you guys, every day I go out there, you can physically see she's getting wider, wider, and wider, is she not? And it is 100 degrees, it is very miserable. We're at the back end of August now, 1st of September, and it's just... The humidity is what's unbearable. Yeah. So I guarantee you she's ready to push those kids out. So let's load up and uh, get Skeeter back to the air condition. Since the sheriff seen the ducks transported to their new place, I think he'll rest a little better now. And I think then he approves. Let's go put him in the house and then we'll go check out on Shadow. All right, so we're coming to check on Shadow. We're going to check on the new kids that we got over here. You guys have seen them. Did you already tell them their name? Uh, yeah, Marshmallow and Fluff. Marshmallow don't see him yet but here is miss pregnant girl we are waiting for her to uh hit any day now man i sure thought she would have some babies by now right shadow she says yeah tell me about it got a stalker behind or underneath the ranger <laughs> he's your new little look, buddy look, look at the goats they're checking out that cat and they have no idea about the cat. They're like, what is that? Hmm. Where's the babies? I don't know. I was looking for well, we them. We got several babies to show you out here. We got a couple of baby goats. Oh, they're under the toilet. Oh. oh. Right there. <laughs> hey, Marshmallow and Fluff. Come out of there. They don't want to come out, do they? I see you under there. Look. Okay, we got something else going on in here. Uh, Smee, I don't think I tried to come in here, buddy. You're liable to get rolled. These goats ain't too friendly when it comes to weird animals. You better watch it. That ain't smart. Alright. Sorry, right, I gotta step in. You need to go back on the other side. Come here. I don't trust them goats. Alright. Hi, pretty girl. So these babies are under there. Oh, and they're not going to come out. It's too hot for them. But we got some other babies I want to show you. We talked about the ducks attacking the baby chicks. So let's just check them out before Mama disappears with them again. There's the babies the ducks were trying to attack. Mama, we got rid of the ducks. They're over on the other side now, so hopefully they will not be a problem. She's got two little black babies and a little white baby. You did a good job, Mama. Let's see how long your chicks make it. I love these little bannies, so I'd love to see her raise them up. And uh, hopefully they're all hens, because we just got rid of a bunch of roosters. Ghostface, what are y'all doing? Munching on some mineral? Good stuff. And uh, that's Ghostface and her two Dolings. She had two twin girls, or she had a set of twin girls this year. Little Boo. So I'll give you one guess who has all the goats' attention right now. That's not me. There's the babies. Look at this. Mr. Smee is trying to uh, negotiate something with the goats. I don't know what he's doing. He keeps cowering down just laying on the ground hoping they don't attack him. 
You guys don't know about these cats, do you? <laughs> they just keep looking at him like, what is that? Me. You're always getting yourself in a predicament. Alright, let's go back to the baby since they're out. You know, Marshmallow and Fluff. You know, guys. Oh, they're getting thirsty. All right, so as, as of <clears throat> right now, as I'm looking over at the pond, I do not see the ducks, so I'm not sure. I'm trying to turn it to get out of the sun a little bit, shadows and all that. I don't know where the ducks are right now. They're kind of just foraging around in the pasture, chasing them bugs. That's going to keep them busy for a while, but we did take something that they do know, which is their duck palace, duck palace. as Rachel calls it. So they are familiar with that, and maybe that will serve as their security blanket. If they get scared, they know they can go in there and kind of get away from whatever. Um, we're not going to lock the door or nothing like that. Um, you know, a lot of times duck will use water to get away from predators. So if like a fox or a raccoon or something like that was chasing them, a lot of times in nature, in the wild, ducks will know to get on the water because some of those animals will not pursue them on the water. But this is the first time that our ducks has ever been on a pond. Yep, so we really don't know, we don't know what's going to happen. From but, the kiddie pool to the big pond. <laughs> they had outgrown that little kiddie pool and it was just a matter of time before we put them on the pond. So hopefully it all works out and uh, stay tuned. If you're not subscribed to our channel, you better subscribe. And uh, hopefully on the next video, we'll try to give you guys an update to see how it goes and how it went and all that. And Make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss a video. For sure. And a lot of people have said that they were unsubscribed. So make sure you check that. Um, check all your favorite channels. Make sure you're subscribed because sometimes YouTube will go through and do a, what do you call it? Like a purge type purge deal. Purge type, it's, yeah. It's, from what I've read is sometimes if you don't stay active on certain channels, like if you watch our channels and you don't comment for several videos, a lot of times YouTube will be like, well, you must not really even like that uh, channel because yep. you haven't been uh, commenting and giving them a thumbs up or Just anything like that. Just interact with your favorite channels. Sure. And so hopefully you don't be a part of the purge. <laughs> right. But anyways, uh, we're going to get off here. I am uh, super hot and sneeze. We got to get him out of here before he gets rolled by the goat. So uh, thank you guys so much. We love you all. Like I said, leave a comment down below. Like this video and we'll see you next time. See you guys. Well, we're driving to put the ranger up, and look who we found. They found the goat's water stock tank, and the pond is right over there. So uh, they got access to the whole pond with the bugs and everything else, but they're up here at the <laughs> goat's water tank.